Well, Lake's Democratic opponent, Katie Hobbs, is juggling two roles tonight, gubernatorial candidate and then her current position as Secretary of State. Team 12's Colleen Sikora is live at her campaign event in downtown Phoenix. And Colleen, there have been a number of issues today at voting centers. We've talked about that. What is Katie Hobbs saying about it? You know, we've asked both her campaign as well as the Secretary of State's office, and neither of them provided a comment on the record from Secretary Hobbs herself. But regarding this issue, we know that Hobbs has repeatedly said that Arizona's elections are safe and secure, and we also know that she has repeatedly spoken out against disproven conspiracy theories regarding the 2020 election. And that's how Hobbs came into the spotlight, because of those challenges and debunked theories of fraud two years ago, saying recently that election was the most safe and secure election in Arizona's history. Now, we caught up with her this morning before the issues of the tabulation machines had come up. She was asked if she loses the election, what's next for her? And she says regardless of the campaign, she's focused on her job as Secretary of State. I'm still the Secretary of State, and I'm going to do the job the voters elected me to do. We're going to make sure that uh, the votes are counted and certified uh, and that um, we are, uh, you know, ready for whatever challenges might come following this election. Now, Hobbs running for governor while being Secretary of State is not a first for Arizona. Republican Ken Bennett was Secretary of State in 2014 when he ran and lost in the GOP primary for governor. Now, we are expecting to hear from Hobbs herself tonight. Obviously, they're still getting the party set up here. But when we do hear from her and other uh, Democratic uh, uh, other Democratic uh, leaders, we will be sure to bring those to you throughout the air, throughout the evening on air and online. For now, back to you. All right, Colleen Secor reporting live from Democratic headquarters. Thanks, Colleen.